Good afternoon, everyone. We are Mike Dunn, Nate McLaren, Sean Wade, and Thomas Rohde, and we are Freehand Cards. There are approximately 7 billion greeting cards that are sold each year. We love getting cards on our birthday. Christmas cards set out next to Christmas stockings remind us of the family that we care about near and far. And a nice card to accompany a bouquet of flowers on Valentine's Day really shows how much you care about your partner. But we all lead busy lives. We have bosses, employees, partners, kids, parents, family, and friends. There are meetings to attend, project deadlines, school plays, meals to make, doctor's appointments, and so many other things that require our attention that sometimes it feels like our Google calendars need Google calendars to keep track of it all. It's easy to feel like we've fallen behind. So when an occasion comes up for someone who is important to us, we find ourselves in the greeting card aisle at Walgreens the night before, trying to find the best card from the limited options available. And that's even if we feel like it's safe to go out to the store. Living in the time of COVID, we can feel even more isolated and alone. And the act of sending or receiving a card can help us feel more connected to the people that we care about. This is where Freehand Cards, a startup venture by Paul Giermo comes in. In 2019, Paul bought his wife a ring for Christmas. He found the right ring with plenty of time to spare, and he planned on getting a card to go with that ring so that when his wife opened it on Christmas morning, he could include a nice message with the gift. But life got in the way. He kept putting it off and kept forgetting to swing through that greeting card aisle when he was at the store. And then on Christmas Eve, as he was sending that gift under the tree, he realized he still hadn't gotten that card he'd wanted two weeks before. So he ran out to the only store open on Christmas Eve, and he found himself in a barren row with 25 other guys fighting over the few remaining cards. He imagined freehand cards as a mobile app that would be a service for busy people. It reminds you of the important occasions for the people in your life that you appreciate. And it offers you card options that are tailored for each person from a selection of local artists, cards that freehand cards will mail for you. And it's all available safely just by pulling out your mobile phone. Hey, Mike, how were you introduced to freehand cards? Well, Thomas, last week, I missed getting my brother a birthday card. I had it on my calendar and I even had a gift for him that I'd ordered online and had sent to his house, but I didn't get him a card. I wanted to, but I had a project at work that's occupied most of my attention for the last few weeks that made it difficult to get to a store and pick one out until it was too late to get it to him. I mentioned what had happened to a friend from work, and they told me about this new mobile app, Freehand Cards. Let's give it a try. What a nice landing page. Who do I appreciate? I appreciate lots of people. Let's continue. This seems easy enough. I'm going to add my wife, Sharon. I definitely appreciate my wife. Her birthday is coming up next month, and I definitely don't want to forget to get her a card like I did with my brother. Category. This is great. There are so many options. She loves funny cards, and I love making her laugh. This has been super easy to do. I'll register now, and it looks like the app will remind me two weeks before her birthday. And there's my wife's card birthday on the dashboard. Very cool. I'm going to call my friend Sean to thank him for turning me onto this app. Hello, Sean. Oh, hey, Mike. Hey, I just signed up for that freehand cards app that you told me about, and the first experience was seamless and delightful. Thanks so much. Mike, I'm so glad you signed up, but did you remember to set a reminder for your brother's birthday next year so that you don't forget? Oh, good idea. I'm going to go do that right now. All right. Sounds good. See you, buddy. Funny he mentioned this. I was actually just checking my email, and I got a reminder from Freehand Cards for an event that I set up a while back. I've already used the app a bunch and have added a lot of these events, but this email reminder is super helpful for making sure I don't forget any important days. I'll follow the link in my reminder email now. Get to a login page. And the event that I'd set up is for my friend Paige's graduation. The app gives me three options for handmade cards, and I can reshuffle them if I want to for new cards matching the category and occasion that I had initially selected. Hmm. I like this card here. She loves plants, so it'll be perfect. And the artist too, James Hewlett. I've seen his work before, and I really like how the app features these local artists. If I tap the image, I can see an interior view of the card as well. 
Let's go with this one. Okay. I see that, whoops. <laughs> I see that I can ship this to myself, but she lives out of state. So I want to ship it straight to her. I'll enter her address here. And there's an inscription field as well. Might as well add a little extra message congratulating her on completing her program. Congrats, your pal, Sean. I get a confirmation dialogue to make sure that all the details that I've entered are correct. Awesome. Well, now that that's taken care of, I've got a couple extra minutes, so I might as well add another event while I'm thinking of it. Because I'm already logged in, I can select John straight away here. He has a new baby, or he's having a new baby soon, so I'll select new baby. And it's due in about a month or so. But who knows when it'll actually come. That's okay, though, because I'll get that reminder email a few weeks before the date I pick. So I'll schedule this for a few weeks out. And I want a funny card for him because we're always joking around. There's so many combinations of types of cards that this at the very least will help me narrow down those options. Great. Now I do just want to double check that I already have his birthday in here as well. Okay, I see I have two events for him. Awesome, looks like I have his birthday and the event that I just added. But you know what, he's actually not a big poetry guy. I might as well update that while I'm here too. More of a pop culture fan. Awesome, done. There's so many great cards on this app that I don't see in stores. I can't wait to see what they add next. Nate, the admin over at Freehand Cards can handle that. Thank you, Sean. Hi, I'm Nate and I work for Freehand Cards. We just got some new cards for one of our independent artists today. I think these new, I really like these new designs. So I'm gonna start adding them to the app right away. The admin portion of the app presents a lot of data. So I've opened my laptop and I'm logging into my administrator account on the app in a desktop view. I scanned the images earlier, so now I've just got to add them to our database. I can select an image by clicking on the upload field here and choosing a file from my computer. We use Amazon S3 to host our images to keep everything in the cloud. Ooh, let's upload this cute dog in a Halloween costume first. While that uploads, I'll insert an inside image here. Ah, perfect. A spooky message from a spooky pooch. Now I need to assign the card an occasion and category. Hmm, I think Halloween and dog photos are appropriate, but oh, this just won't do. I can't believe we don't have a Halloween category. I'll select not specified for now and add that later. Wait, hold on. There's not a dog photo category? I'll use not specified for now, but I gotta add that. I'll enter the artist's name, Caitlin Nightingale. I can't wait to get more card ideas from Caitlin. She's been excited to get her art more exposure through the Freehand app. And I'll include a description of the card. It's important that I add a detailed description so that our app is accessible for those with disabilities. And I'll add the card, perfect. Now let's switch to the other page and get that category and occasion added stat. That was Halloween, there we go, and dog photos. I think this new occasion and category are great ideas. I'm glad it's so easy to add these. It really lets our artists and photographers get creative. Now let's switch back to the card page and update that spooky puppy card so that it shows up in our app. I'll scroll down here and we'll get that edited. That was Halloween and dog photos. Boom, save and done. The card starts showing up in our user searches right away. That was really slick. The Freehand Cards app will give our client, Paul, what he needs to present his startup to potential investors, to secure the funding he needs to launch his project, and to add new features. Take us home, Tom. Thank you, Nate. When we can't see everyone we want to, getting a card in the mail can really help cut through the isolation and give a real personal connection. And when we get a card in person, it brings an extra amount of joy or comfort in the moment that adds so much to the occasion. The time-consuming experience of shopping for a card can be overwhelming, and the experience varies greatly from store to store. And when you are able to make it into the store to pick up a card, who knows what you'll be able to find when you get there? Freehand cards will help streamline the entire process from wherever you are with the ease of using your mobile phone, making sure that you can let the people in your life know that you appreciate them. Freehand cards was built using a number of technologies, including React, Node.js, Express, and PostgreSQL. We'd like to thank our client, Paul, 
We've been excited to develop the Freehand Cards app for you. And we'd also like to thank everyone in the Zhu cohort and everyone at Prime who have provided us with the skills to create this app, especially our instructor, Dane Smith. We've appreciated the chance to develop into the coders that we are in your class. Once again, we are Mike Dunn, Nate McLaren, Sean Wade, and Thomas Rohde for Freehand Cards. Thank you.